So in this video, we're gonna be going over some of the false beliefs that I've been seeing in the comment section of my videos. And one of my videos in particular where I got actually a lot of kickback for what I was saying in it. So instead of explaining it, let me go ahead and input the video right here. Can you make a good income off repairing windshields? So I tell people this all the time, 100K a year is $274 a day. When you break it down like that, it's really not that much money. So if you think about you know windshield repair, for example, you charge $80 per chip. That's what I charge. That's what I tell people to charge. If you charge $80 per chip and you did four repairs, that's $320. Let's say you did four repairs per day, every single day, that's $320. That's over six figures a year. That's really not that hard to do. So when I posted that video, I thought I was, you know, explaining how easy it is to make $100,000 a year. I figured I was getting across that it really doesn't take that much money to, you know, hit every single day to actually make $100,000 a year. And I kind of wanted to explain how easy that was to actually hit with windshield repair because not a lot of people talk about windshield repair. And of course, to my surprise, because it's the internet, I got a lot of negative comments uh, about that and I had a lot of people that were just kind of naysayers and they had a lot of false beliefs about the business. So in this video, we're gonna go over some of those comments and I'm gonna see if I can validate them and I'm gonna also see if I can kind of give them a different perspective on exactly how to think about this business. So with that said, let's get into it. So the first false belief that I wanted to go over today is this comment right here. LOL, you want to work every day, question mark, laughy face. And of course I replied and said, it's not work to me, so yes. I know it sounds crazy, but I actually enjoy working. I enjoy what I do every single day. It's not the sexiest business, like I've said before. It's not the coolest business. It's not the most well-known business, but I actually enjoy what I do every single day. I get to build my own business. I get to actually have purpose for something. It's not just a job that I go to to make some money and then go home and never want to go back again. It's something that I actually enjoy waking up to and actually being able to do every single day. So to start off, it's not really work to me. So yes, I want to do it every single day. I have a lot more fulfillment doing this every single day than if I were to work a nine to five. At least any nine to five that I've ever worked, I didn't really get that fulfillment out of it. So I really enjoy what I do every single day now. So what I think is that this person probably has a negative connotation on work and they kind of categorize it in a nine to five uh, schedule and, and day to day operation. But if you're doing what you like to do, then you know you don't really see it as work. You see it as more or less maybe a hobby Maybe it's just something that you enjoy doing and you get fulfillment or you get joy out of doing it. And most people wouldn't really call that work because they have that negative connotation on nine to five job or work or working through the weekdays and having weekends off and all of that. So the way I see it, I don't really see it as work. I see it as something that I enjoy doing and I actually get to make money with it. So it's not really work to me. I'm in a time in my life where these are probably the most important years of my life where I can build and where I can actually enjoy life. I'm able to have a good health. I'm able to you know, actually make a good amount of money and I can actually enjoy these years of my life. So why would I wanna use those years uh, to go to a job that I don't like and just to do something that I don't want to do just for a, a paycheck or just for a secure, uh, you know, payday every single Friday, or every two weeks or whatever it is. I think these years of my life are the most important years of my life. So I would much rather do something that I enjoy every single day than, you know, not. All right, false belief number two is no weekends, no tax, no being sick, no insurance. So this person seems to have been indoctrinated in the system is what I wanna call it. They are uh, thinking of it as like the typical nine to five. You know, you go to work from nine to five, you go home uh, at night and then you get to do whatever you want at night. Uh, you have your weekends off, you have to pay your taxes before you even get paid. Uh, and then you have your insurance where you pay for your insurance and blah, 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 blah. And it's not really their fault that they think this way because this is how I thought, this is how a lot of people think, um, that this is the normal way to live your life. And quite honestly, it's, it's really not. There's so many different ways to go about this. You know, you don't need weekends off, right? You can take a day off. If you're working for yourself, you can take a day off whenever you want. I can take a Wednesday off. I can take a Monday off. I can take a Friday off. I can take my weekends off if I want to. I pay my taxes as well. I just pay it a little bit different than what a W-2 employee does. Of course I get sick. I you know, can get sick and not go out and work. I, but I don't have to call my boss and tell him that I'm sick and I don't have to go to work. If I'm sick, then you know, whatever, I'm not working. Next day, if I feel better, I'll go to work. It, 
doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, I might not get paid for the time that I'm off, but it's really not that big of a deal. And no, I don't have insurance through my employer, but you can always get insurance outside of your employer. You don't need to work a job to have insurance policies. So my point is there's a lot of different ways around this. You don't have to work a job just because you have insurance and you have sick days and you have taxes that you pay when in reality you pay your taxes before you even get paid when you work a job. I pay my taxes a little bit different than that, but I still pay taxes. And then kind of going back to actually liking what I do. Yeah, I work weekends, but then sometimes I will take a weekend off to go do whatever I want. I have that luxury of choosing. So, you know, I'm not really indoctrinated into the nine to five system anymore. And I think this person probably is. So I would say go do your research and actually look up, you know, starting your own business and uh, kind of weigh the, the pros and cons to it. I'm not gonna be here, sit here and say that, you know, it's all pros and there's no cons behind it, but you gotta do your research and you'll have a better understanding once you do. So the false belief number three is it's really not that hard. I don't know how you find that many people per day to get a windshield chip repaired. Maybe in dense populated areas, but other places just no. Now to their defense, I did kind of make it seem like it was a lot easier than it actually is. Now, this is a 30 second video, right? Um, I can't explain every single detail behind making $100,000 with windshield repair, but what I can do is kind of spark your interest and show you that it is possible. And that was really what my goal was. I didn't wanna say that it was super easy and that anybody can do it, but I wanted to let you know that it's actually possible and that you can do it too, because if I can do it, then honestly, anybody else can do it. I'm not very smart. I'm, I'm actually not very smart at all. Um, if I can make $100,000 with windshield repair, then I think anybody can make $100,000 with windshield repair. And I don't think it really matters on if you're in a dense populated area or not, because there are people that make a lot of money with windshield repair all around the states, all around the country for that matter. Um, so it doesn't really matter if you're in a busy area or not. Now, the reason I say that is because rock chips happen every single day. People get them every single day. And if there's cars in your area, if there's cars on the road that are in your area, these people are probably getting rock chips on their windshield. So they have a problem and you can be that person that provides the solution to that problem. Of course, dense and populated areas are gonna have a little bit more opportunity to make some money with it, but essentially it doesn't really matter if it's dense or not because if there's cars on the road, if there's people in your area, maybe they're in a town over, maybe they're in a city over, but if there's people that are in your you know, vicinity, then there's opportunity to be made there. But to completely just get rid of the idea and just say, just know that this isn't possible, I can't do this because I don't live in a dense populated area, I think that's a little bit of a limiting belief for yourself. And uh, I think you should probably check that because you know you're, if you're gonna have a limited belief about everything, then you're not gonna get very far in life. Um, if you're watching this video, you're obviously interested in you know bettering yourself and, and you're interested in business and maybe starting a different business. Uh, so I would say do a little bit of research and uh, yeah, kind of get rid of that, that limiting belief. All right, so let's go over one more comment here. This guy said, that's not a very good measurement. I respect the grind, but you didn't talk about overhead, equipment, et cetera. Again, it's a 30 second video. Of course, I can't talk about every single detail in windshield repair and every single detail on how to make $100,000 with the business, but I can spark your interest and hopefully that's what I did. My main point of this video was that you can make $100,000, which is more than what a lot of people make throughout the United States with windshield repair. Uh, fairly straightforward and, and not easy, but probably a lot easier than what you think. Making $100,000 with this business is definitely possible. I did it. I show other people how they can do it. I know a lot of other people in the business that have made well over $100,000 with the business. So it's definitely possible. Uh, it might not be easy, but nothing in life is easy. No business is easy to start. Nothing's easy. Everything's gonna have challenges. Everything's gonna be hard to do, especially when you're first getting into any business or any endeavor that you wanna do. It's always gonna be hard, no matter what. Nothing is easy. But essentially, that doesn't mean that it's impossible. That means that it is possible. Anything's possible. You just gotta put your mind to it and actually you know, try to make it happen. So I wanna say I'm sorry for making it seem so easy to do. Um, I just think that it is possible and I think that anybody can do it because I've been there, done that, and I show others exactly how to do it as well. So there was a bunch more comments about people, you know, not really believing in it and uh, kind of having their, their two cents to throw in there. Um, but those are just a couple that I wanted to go over and hopefully it helped, you know, anybody that's watching this video, hopefully it helped them out. Um, if you have any you know, skepticism about windshield repair or you have any false beliefs, maybe you thought the same uh, about what these people said. Um, so hopefully I gave you a little bit more clarity on that. 
and uh, hopefully that helped you out a little bit. And that's really what I wanna do with this channel is I wanna kinda educate people on windshield repair because there's really not that much out there about the business. So I wanna educate people about the business. So I like these comments. I like when people you know, say these things about the business and about what I'm saying because um, it helps me you know, kinda talk about it and explain it a little bit better. The way that I see it, I've had success with the business. I've made pretty good money with the business. I continue to make pretty good money with the business. I show other people how they can make money with the business. I have a lot of students in the program that I have that are making good money with this business. So I know it works. I see that it works for other people. Um, I just wanted to kind of explain that in my YouTube videos and in all my videos on social media that you know, it is possible and I wanna to explain to people that they can do it too. And with that said, that is all I have for you guys. Hopefully that helped you guys out. If you enjoyed stuff like this, if you enjoy me talking about windshield repair, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Go ahead and like the video so it get pushed out to other people that are interested in the business and uh, it'll help me out as well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.